Hey everybody, Mr. Murray here. We're back with another related rates video. This time we're looking at a cube. In this case, a it's a cube of ice, uh, initially measuring five centimeters on each edge. It's a cube, so all the edges are congruent, right? Five, 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 length, width, and height. And this cube is melting at a rate of 54 cubic centimeters per hour. Uh, so one of the things, right, that one of the basic strategies of related rates problems is try to read carefully and translate all quantities into, you know, variable expressions, you know, so you can use them. What does this 54 represent? Cubic centimeters per hour. It's melting at a rate of 54 cubic centimeters per hour. The units are, are also very helpful, but that's talking about volume, right? Cubic units per hour. So that's the rate of change of volume. Or in other words, dv dt it is 54, and it's melting. So that means it's losing volume, right? So its volume is decreasing, so we're going to assign it a negative value. dv dt is negative 54. So that is one quantity that's given to us. What else are we looking for? Uh, assuming it remains a perfect cube throughout the process. So, you know, you have to suspend a little disbelief sometimes with these. It's, it's always a perfect cube. Otherwise, this isn't going to work. Um, <clears throat> find the rate of change of its surface area when each edge is three centimeters long. So I'm going to say, what are we looking for here? find the rate of change of surface area. So I'm just going to call it A for surface area. So rate of change of that would be dA dt, rate of change of that surface area with respect to time. And at the moment when each edge is three centimeters long. Okay. So the edges are changing as it melts. So they're only five at the very beginning, and then they're going to be immediately changing as this thing melts. So I'm going to call that a variable of x, you call it whatever you want, e for edge, s for side. Uh, I'm just going with x, and we're talking about the moment when x is 3. Okay. So first things first that you might start with is saying, hey, I have dA dt is what I'm looking for when x is 3. Let's start off with the surface area formula. The area or surface area of a cube is its six uh, surfaces, each one being a square, right? So there are six squares, and each one has an area of x squared. It's a square, x by x. <clears throat> and so that would be its surface area at any given time, and x is a variable. A is obviously a variable also. Its derivative, dA dt, would be. 12x dx dt. And so you ask yourself, hey, I'm really rolling here, but do I have everything I need to finish this problem off? I'm looking for dA dt. I know x is 3, so I'm going to plug that in here. But do you know what dx dt is at this moment? And no, we were not given that. So this is one of those problems where you've got to kind of do a little detour, find a missing quantity before you can finish it off and find what you really want. And that's why you're given this, right? You're given the rate of change of volume, which isn't you know, directly useful in here, but I can probably use this to figure out what is dx dt. And we're gonna do that by thinking about what's the volume formula. So the volume formula at any given time in terms of the side x, the edge, is always going to be x cubed. So its derivative, its rate of change, dv dt, would be 3x squared dx dt. Right? Don't forget to, you know, this, this implicit differentiation, don't forget to multiply by d whatever dt, unless your variable is t. And so now, you see I'm talking about dv dt is always negative 54, I'm talking about the moment when x is 3, so I can plug that in here, and I can find what is dx dt at that same moment we're talking about, when x is 3. And then I can find that and use it here where I really want. 
So I'm going to plug in what I know. dv dt is negative 54. 3 times my edge, and the edge uh, is 3. My edge squared times dx dt. Uh, so 3 squared is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. So we have negative 54 is equal to 27 dx dt. And you'll see these numbers are, are pretty nice, actually. They don't always work out to be. Uh, so we divide both sides by 27, and we get dx dt is negative 2 at this moment when x is 3. So since we're talking about that same moment when x is 3, then I can use that value right along here. So dA dt, the rate of change of the surface area, is 12 times x at this moment we're talking about is 3, and dx dt at the same moment when x is 3 is negative 2. So now I've plugged in all quantities, and just a little multiplication going on here. dA dt is 12 times 3 is 36. 36 times negative 2 is negative 72. And let's think about those units. Um, we're dealing with centimeters, and the time is uh, in terms of hours. So rate of change of area would be square units, or square centimeters, per hour. But as always, I like to write a, a complete sentence here to describe this, you know, if we have time to do so always looks best. So when the edge is three centimeters at that moment, right? The surface area is, and it's a negative rate of change. So that would imply that the surface area is decreasing, which would make sense because the it's melting. So the cube is getting smaller. The surface area is decreasing at a rate of 72 centimeters squared per hour. And notice how I didn't use the negative because that's what, you know, when I translate into words logically, I'm, I'm using the word decreasing. That sort of represents the negative uh, rate of change. So then you just say a rate of 72 centimeters squared per hour. It would be redundant to say decreasing at a rate of negative. In fact, that would almost make a positive, right? And that's not what we're going for. So there we go. And uh, another related rates question in the book. Hopefully you're getting the hang of these and maybe even enjoying these. I love them using all these properties from geometry and you know having to be a little clever with how we set things up. And uh, hopefully you're enjoying them too, or at least getting the hang of them, feeling more comfortable. If you have any questions, just let me know. But hang in there and keep working hard.